Lemons and Larkspur. Today is a little different video. I invited a few members of my family over uh, for a little garden party just to enjoy the flowers that are at their peak, but also to share with them how to make a basket full of flowers. I have been all about how to make container gardens, how to garden where you are, how to make the most of any bit of sunshine that you have. And this is a nice way to just bring some of your favorite potted flowers or your favorite garden flowers for that matter um, into your backyard into your front your front porch or patio wherever you have some sunshine or switch it up and do it with um, shade plants or even do it with house plants it's just how to make an ordinary wicker basket into a vessel for potting things so I hope you enjoy this um, I will be sharing more ways to garden in containers in coming videos. This one is going to be a fun one. So let's get to gardening. So first let me go ahead and show you the supplies that I provided. You certainly don't have to do this, but I thought it would be a fun touch because everybody loves a little gift and a little surprise. Everyone gets their own set of Dollar Tree gardening gloves. And of course I found those adorable solar lights at Dollar Tree as well, so I thought it would be fun to put one into everyone's basket. And just as an aside, I asked everyone just to bring their basket and that I would provide everything else. The plants per basket run about $10, so you can keep that in mind if you wanna do this and just um, charge a little fee for the flowers themselves because I know um, times are tough and it's not easy. Um, just depending on how many people you are to buy flowers for everyone. So that is just a thought. Let me share with you what I bought. Just some simple annuals. I have verbena, alyssum, uh, let's see, mini dahlias, and some of that African daisy, and I think I have some petunias in here. So that is it. I will share with you as we do this, given that um, my guests don't mind being on a video. I wasn't able to get that film during my garden party because you know it was a party and I wanted to be in the moment I don't want to have to worry about filming and the lighting and all of that stuff so I am going to just put together real quickly one of the baskets so you can see exactly how I did it and I have to admit I saw this first on Garden Answer with Laura she put one of these together and I thought that was so um, such a great idea, a great way to use old baskets to repurpose and to grow flowers for anywhere that you wanted them. So that is what I took, shared with my friends, and now I'm going to share it with you. First off, let me show you the basket that I put together based on um, what she showed me before I even had the thought of doing this with my friends. This is it. It is huge, but basically I have in the center a thriller which is this African daisy I have some fillers in there which are the primrose and they are just about done because we are getting warm and then I have some spillers in lobelia and alyssum so I'm gonna put this down because it is really heavy and I'm gonna show you how you can put together one in a, any size basket I'm using this little one because honestly I used all my bigger ones for demonstration purposes for my party. So I'm just going to show you in this basket what you can do. I am not doing the thriller, filler and spiller. I'm just going to do one simple arrangement but it's just for demonstration. So I'll show you exactly what I did and how simple it is. Your mind and your imagination, your creativity is going to run wild with this. So simple. Let's get to gardening. So let's quickly go over the supplies you'll need. Obviously, a basket. Any size, whatever works in your decor, whatever you have on hand, whatever you find at the thrift store, all of those things. Plastic. This is a plaque. Uh, this is just a black trash can liner. Black is nice because it kind of disappears with the brown of the dirt. Technically, you could use anything, but black is best. And then some burlap or cheesecloth or maybe a, a potato sack, something that has um, enough drainage porous, that's porous enough that water can drain through it. Obviously, flowers. In this case, I decided just to go with some um, 
dahlias. These are just miniature doll dahlias that you get in a six pack from the big box store. Dirt, yay. I always need some good potting soil and then water to water it in. So let's assemble this. In a perfect world, and like I said, I am using what I had on hand. In a perfect world, you want a piece of your fabric, whatever it is that you're using, big enough to drape all four sides and give yourself a couple inches of leeway. Um, hang over because we're gonna trim it. So, you're gonna, first layer is going to be your burlap and because I don't have enough, I am going to piece this. So I have two pieces that I am going to use and that's perfectly fine. This is one of those projects that it's good to use your leftovers on. So if you can see here, nothing fancy. I just layered it in there. Next, pull this up because I do want some there. Next is your plastic, whatever plastic you decide to use. Same idea, we're just gonna cover the bottom, leave it up a little bit because we're gonna trim it down. I just filled the bottom of the container. What you want to do with the plastic though is we want a couple of small drainage holes so I just pinch it together and clip it just to let enough water come out so that it's not sogging in the bottom but not so much that it's gonna just all the water is gonna run out. You don't want that and dirt and all that. You don't want that mess. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of small holes in here. This is so much easier if you have the right size of plastic, but I don't, and I'm not gonna waste a whole nother trash bag just for this small little basket. Okay, so we got our black plastic with the holes, burlap first, black plastic next, and now I'm just gonna fill it with the soil, about three quarters of the way full. Be sure that you pull back everything um, so that the plastic obviously does not flip back into the basket. That would kind of defeat the purpose. Can you see in there? I don't know if you can see, it's about up to right here. Next, I'm going to pot up my plants. And in the big one, I did use something tall in the middle, and that was just to take up some space, and then I layered it going down. This is a small basket, um, and I'm simply just going to use the one type of flower. going to have room for three, but I think two is going to be plenty. So now I'm just going to backfill all the spaces that don't have dirt. Like I said before, you could do this with house plants. 
um, just be sure that you put a tray lining underneath so that it doesn't um, water through on your furniture just like you would any any house plant you could do it as a little herb garden which I will share with you I did another kind of trough herb, um, herb basket I'll share that with you at, a, at another time then what I do is I kind of just tap it down to help that soil get in all those nooks and crannies you see this and I have to say that is as simple as it gets just a little bit more just to make sure and then I just kind of gently press down to make sure that there are no air pockets in there and the next step is just really cleaning it up I'm gonna take the scissors and trim this just so it's above the dirt line and because we use black, it's going to disappear quite nicely. I'm trying to be careful I don't cut the plants as well. can just kind of tuck the plastic down in a little bit if it's sticking out give it a good tap down and you see because we use the burlap you can't see that black plastic which is just a little extra you wouldn't have to do it um, with black but it does or you wouldn't have to use the burlap but it does make the basket look extra nice and then just water it in any kind of small basket or small container of any kind is going to require number one more water because obviously it's going to dry out more quickly and then it's also going to require more frequent fertilization um, the, the nutrients in the soil in any pot deplete themselves they have nowhere to draw up any kind of natural um, organisms to kind of enhance the soil so you do have to fertilize it I make a habit of fertilizing my containers the last weekend of every month that way I don't have to remember a date I don't have to think did I do it when did I do it last I just know I did it the last weekend of the month that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it inspired you if you like uh, me to show you quick things like this give me a thumbs up leave it in the comments I would be happy to share more um, easy ways to grow plants and food with you. I did convince my mother, my sister-in-law, and my niece to share their creations with you and they let me take a quick picture. So I will pop that in here. As always, thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.